Okay. I'm going to use the subgroup of militant vegans to demonstrate to you what is happening in the ascension process, the ascension of Mother Gaia, planet Gaia, planet Earth, from third density to fourth and fifth density. And if you're not aware of the densities, I mean, I've got a lot of videos on it. You can go some, watch some of my videos from, uh, from the past or look into the law of one, the, the raw, raw material, R-A, raw material, the law of one. Uh, and uh, you will have a better understanding of this. But I think a lot of you guys watching this uh, roughly know what I'm talking about here. There is an ascension process. The planet is, is, is shifting vibrations, going from a lower vibration to a higher vibration that supports love, fourth density, and then wisdom, fifth density. So what is a militant vegan? A militant vegan is someone who uses uh, forms of aggression, different forms of aggression, to impose their way of perceiving reality, their way of life, which happens to be veganism, which happens to be not killing other animals and not consuming animal products. And often in the process, uh, the militant vegan will, again, use different forms of aggression, activism usually. And this also, you know, this will also explain to you social justice warrior, the social justice warrior phenomena. Okay, so some form of aggression is used, some form of imposing your will on another being that continues to abuse animals, that continues to kill animals, that continues to consume animals, because you realize it, you get it, like, what the hell are we doing? Why are we killing these animals? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Like, why am I, why, you know, this is insane. And you cry and you've got love. So militant vegans are well-meaning individuals with uh, an abundance of compassion an abundance of compassion, but uh, lack of wisdom. Okay, lack of wisdom. Now, let me explain. So, the qualities of third density, I mean, I mean, each soul is primarily, predominantly vibrating at a particular vibration. Most human souls on this planet are third density souls. Most animals are second density souls. So, most humans are third density soul, the, so, souls. The third density soul is vibrating at the third chakra, Power, assertion, ego, individuality. That's uh, 95 to 98% of humans. Okay? So, but because there is a shift now going from third density to fourth density. What is the fourth density? It's the chakras. The densities are the chakras. Fourth density is the heart. It's connectedness. It's compassion. Now, because the planet is making the shift and it's going to fourth density, some humans are waking up, they're transferring, there are going to be harvests. They're going from third density to fourth density. They're waking up to the compassion, to the love. Hey, it's not just about me, it's about me and everyone else. That's compassion, that's love, that's heart. And they're realizing, why, are we, why am I eating meat? Why am I doing this? Why are we doing this? Oh my God, this is terrible. Oh no, this is bad. Oh my God, and you're full of compassion. That's pretty normal for a planet that's going up to fourth density. Some people are waking up to that. Uh, some humans, and not all humans. Uh, in fact, the harvest is going to be no more than 10%, maybe 15 at the most. 20 if, uh, if everything goes to plan. 20 is, is probably too much. So, But some humans are waking up. They're, trans they're going from third density. They're becoming fourth density souls, and they will succeed. They will be harvested by the end of the cycle. Because we're at the end of the, this cycle. So, a lot of the militant vegans that you see and the social justice warriors are souls that are actually evolving from third density to fourth density. And they're evolving into the heart, compassion, uh, fourth density chakra, density. They're, they're shifting gears. They're, their soul is now operating more in the oneness, the recognition of the connectedness of everything. Uh, from selfishness to selflessness. And often, the way forth that when you go to fourth density, the way you serve is a lot of times through self-sacrifice. That's the lack of wisdom. It's through through uh, engaging in in battle. Okay, you engage in battle. Uh, you fight for the good side, for, for good, against evil, 
and, and, and often if you're either going to fourth density or if you're predominantly fourth density, you often uh, resent evil, you resent hate, and you're actively fighting it. A lot of the militant vegans and the social justice warriors are exactly that. Their souls moving to fourth density and that's exactly what a soul does when it moves to fourth density. It fights evil, it fights the bad, it, uh, it's very active and aggressive, it uses aggression uh, in order for it to uh, show its love, its compassion and uh, its selflessness. And uh, then the other portion of the militant vegans and the social justice warriors would be fourth density souls. They're already fourth density that came down here to serve the planet also. So either that, you see, either a fourth or an already fourth density soul, already operating predominantly at the heart, or a soul that is going to actually succeed at going from third density to fourth density. Now, what is fifth density, fifth chakra, throat chakra? That's the chakra of light, the chakra of wisdom. So after the soul spends a considerable amount of time in fourth density, in uh, compassion, uh, in self-sacrificial service, it begins to gain wisdom. It begins to see the oneness of all. It begins to see the dark complements light, that good complements evil. Uh, and that God is one, and God is play is is evil and is good, is is playing all these different roles. So uh, the recognition of the oneness of, of of everything begins to dawn upon the soul, uh, and the soul begins to understand with wisdom fifth density it begins to understand with wisdom that. This is all just the dance of the divine and that I am indeed here to play a role. It doesn't, you're not suddenly like, okay, all right, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let's go back to eating meat. I'm gonna go back to eating meat because it's wisdom because it's all perfect anyway, right? It's all God anyway. Uh, and so I'm just gonna go back to eating meat. I'm just gonna go back to doing my thing. And it's, it's not that at all. It's not that at all. It's understanding that although all is one and all is God, that due to your uh, where you are you've evolved now to the fourth and the fifth that you cannot help but be a compassionate being so you're going to continue to serve you're going to continue to preach veganism you're going to continue to preach equality and tolerance but now that you've gone to the fifth density to wisdom you do not do it with aggression you do not do it with resentment you do not do it with uh, imp imp imposing your will. You do it because you do it. Because that's just what you do. You do it actually from a place of peace, from a place of joy, from a place of appreciation actually for the whole thing. The appre appreciation for, the, for, for good and evil, appreciation for duality, appreciation for creation, Appreciation for intelligence, appreciation for God, the intelligent, infinite intelligence, uh, working its way, you know, playing this whole cosmic game of going from separate first density to oneness, seventh density, pure energy, pure source, pure light. And you actually delight in it. You delight, you appreciate, but you continue to do your dance. Instead, here's what happens when you go from fourth density to fifth density. Instead of, yesterday I was clever and I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise and I want to change myself. So what happens then is you begin to focus more on changing yourself. So you don't go back to eating meat. You don't go back to killing animals, torturing them, saying, well, it's all perfect. I'm God and everybody's God and it's all okay and it's all groovy anyway. No, no. It's a, it's a little change in the way you carry yourself, in the way you do things. You become more peaceful you be, because you don't, you're not out there wanting to change the world because you, you, with wisdom you saw that it's all perfect anyway. It's all God. It's all one. You, with wisdom you saw that it's all perfect. So that gives you peace. Like, oh, okay. It's all perfect. This is all supposed to happen because if people weren't killing animals, 
if 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 evil didn't exist, I wouldn't even know my position as a light worker. I would, in fact, I wouldn't even gain compassion because there would be no nothing to gain compassion to. There, it's there would be. I wouldn't even know what love is if there was no evil. I wouldn't even know what what, what is compassion. I don't even know what compassion is without evil, without seeing something happening that is disharmonious. So you wouldn't even know your position as a light worker, as a compassionate being, without first having some evil actions happen. So that's the wisdom, the, seeing the perfection of everything. And in seeing that perfection of everything, you say, well, I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to continue to be a vegan. I'm going to continue to educate those who are ready to hear. So instead, here's what happens. This is a shift. Instead of you trying to uh, preach to and everyone, like, you know, you, everyone's, you got to change your ways. If you stop killing, stop eating meat, stop killing the animals. You preach it to those who are ready to hear. So, uh, because you've gained wisdom. Fifth, you've moved to fifth density. So now you've gained wisdom. Like, hey, that person is not ready to hear it. You know, if you don't, if you only can bench the bar, you're not going to be able to bench two plates. <laughs> you know, that it, it's wisdom. With wisdom, you don't you don't suddenly go up to somebody and be like, "You could do it. You could bench two plates. Come on, it's all mind. It's all mental." Sure, if that person was Buddha or something and and was able to transcend the laws of nature, okay, yeah, they would be able to. But more than likely, they're not going to be able to go from benching the bar to benching two plates on on each side. That person is not ready to it for it. But however, you see somebody else that's benching two plates in twenty five, for example. Okay, and uh, that person, you sense that they can push themselves more. You sense, you know, you, could, you see them do it maybe like two plates in 25, or one plate in 25 on each side. You see them do it like with ease eight times, but you see that they're not pushing themselves enough. You may go up to that person and be like, you know, if you push yourself right now, you could put two plates of 45 on each side and you could bench. And that person might be like, huh, I'm listening. Because they're more ready for it. And at that right there in that session, you may be able to get them to put two plates on and bench it at least once or twice. Which may have been otherwise an obstacle in this person's head. Okay? I've been in the gym scene in my days and uh, a lot of these things happen. So uh, that's why I'm using these examples. So that's a person that's ready to hear it. Now with wisdom, you 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 preach what you already know is the truth which is that you know what would you yeah you know what whatever the truth is or whatever you know the more harmonious thing to do is with wisdom you do it but you only do it to those who are ready to hear and you don't do it with any aggression with any resentment wisdom seeing the perfection the oneness of all but if i haven't gotten that wisdom yet if i'm still naive then i'm gonna go to everybody and i'm gonna be like no you just what well, you give love you can use you know can't, man, look, look, I mean, phew, the animals are suffering. Oh, my God, it's terrible. You know, like, what, how, what are you doing? Eating meat. What, what, is, are you crazy? Don't you know what these animals go through? But that person is not ready to hear it. And the truth is most people are not ready to hear it. Not like that. They've got to go through their own levels too. And that's why you see what you see in front of you. And it's part of the ascension. The militant vegans, the social justice warriors, well-meaning souls. In my opinion, most of the militant, you know, the, the militant vegans, the social justice warriors, are third density human souls that are moving into fourth density. I don't think they're wanderers because most wanderers are fifth and sixth density souls. They're already operating in wisdom and beyond, in, in service to others. But the third density souls going to fourth density are now beginning to want to serve others, beginning to see the oneness of all, beginning to gain compassion for others. And so they're kind of, it's a compensation mechanism because they're, they've been in, in third density for so long. And it's sort of a, comp I mean, think about it. If you've been, uh, like, let's say you've been mean, let's say you have a kid and you've like been mean to them their whole life. And you've been like, you know, maybe beating them up and like really, really just like, making your kid suffer for whatever reason, playing power games, and one day you wake up like, I love my kid. Why, why have I been doing this for my kid all this time? Oh my God. You're going to have a compensation reaction. 
you may start to spoil your kid. You may like buy them all kinds of things, give them all the money they want, give them all the food they want because you, you feel terrible, you feel guilty. So a third density soul been in this third, in, in, in this earth, been in a cycle, in the earth karma, been acting selfishly all this time, suddenly wakes up due to the ascension process says, wow, I can't believe it. What have I been doing? I've been asleep all this time. So then the compensation reaction uh, kicks in and then you start to, you know, want to tell everyone about this. So see, well-meaning souls. So yeah, just understand that each soul is at a different uh, evolutionary path. It's in a different evolutionary path and it is acting based on where it is in its evolutionary path. And so right now, this planet has all kinds of souls. I mean, we've got third density souls moving to fourth density. Uh, we've got the wanderers, fifth and sixth density souls who are here to uh, facilitate the process, to help the process of ascension. Uh, and they tend to be wiser souls and uh, they tend to not intervene as much and not act with aggression uh, because of the wisdom that they have gained in their previous evolutionary cycles on different planets and solar systems. And then we've got fourth density negative souls. That's the, you know, the reptilians and stuff. You can't see them, but they're sort of running the show. We've got fourth density souls uh, that are also acting from beyond the veil, though. Not necessarily, you know, they're acting from beyond the veil, not in physical form. We've got third density negative souls that are more negative, more negatively oriented. The elites, think of the elites. We've got second density souls here. That's most of your animals and plants. We've got first density. That's your the elements, the primary elements. Uh, and uh, in rare occasions, we have fifth and sixth density negative souls also. So it's a mixed planet, as with any planet. You know, until the planet, once the planet ascends, like once the planet goes to fourth density and then fifth density, positive, that's it. Then uh, it's pretty much becomes more uniform. Things become more uniform. But thir third density is very exciting because it's always such a mix. The duality is very strong. The conflict is very strong in any third density planet or solar system. And so this is very interesting times. So that's why you get a lot of interesting folks, a lot of interesting things happening around. Uh, and a lot of it's a mixed you feel like you know you feel like earth is a mixed audience it definitely is a mixed audience uh so yeah it's uh, just pretty amusing to uh to uh, observe and uh yeah just i i thought i wanted to bring this to your uh, attention to your awareness just, to, just so you know as an amused observer of the whole thing you get to understand what's happening just understand it that's all right just understanding and go on being amused okay so, thank you to all the Patreons for your uh, continuous support. God bless you. If you've got a couple of bucks a month to throw down uh, our way, there is a link for Patreon in the description. If you want to make a one-time donation on PayPal, that is highly appreciated. And uh, I'm so deeply grateful. Thank you very much. And follow on Saeed, on Instagram at Said Mobayed if you want to talk about anything specific in person. And until next time, may the force be with you.